I'm Helen Mansfield from Reading Information Advice and Support Service, also known as Reading IAS. This video is for children and young people to tell you a little bit more about what we do. Getting the help you want. Reading IAS is there for young people aged 25 or under who are disabled or need extra help with learning, children who are disabled or need extra help with learning, and the parents and carers of those children and young people. Reading IAS can give information, advice and support on things like school, college or training, getting the right health care, getting the help you need at home, school or in the workplace. If there is something we can't help you with, we'll try and find someone who can. We call this signposting. How the service works. The advisors who work at Reading IAS are friendly and will always do their best to help you. There are lots of different ways to talk to them and here's how it works step by step. Firstly, get in touch. You can call our helpline. The helpline is open Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays between 9.30am and 2.30pm and we answer calls as they come in or respond to calls as quickly as possible if the line is busy and someone has had to leave a message. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, the helpline is checked and messages are responded to as quickly as possible within two working days. You can also email us, send an email via our website, or you can send us a message on Facebook Messenger and someone will get back to you within two working days. I will add all of our contact details at the end of this video. Secondly, get the information. We will listen to your questions and try to give you useful information and advice. We know a lot about things like your rights to support, what the law is, and what to do if you have problems getting the support you need. Depending on what you need, the IS advisor might offer more help by email, more help by phone, including text and WhatsApp, or they might meet with you, and this might be done virtually. You can tell the advisor what would be best for you, and if you are not sure about anything, just ask. Now let's check your rights. IAS services are always free. You do not pay anything. Private. What you tell us is confidential, which means that we will usually not tell other people what you said. And the only time we would is if someone was in danger of being heard or if you said that we could talk to people. We will always talk to you about this. We call it consent to discuss, which means that you've said it's OK for us to talk to people about what you've told us. And fair. We will always give you information and tell you what the law is and what choices you have. We will help you to make your own decisions, but we won't make decisions for you. You have the right to get information, advice and support on your own or with help from parents or carers. It's up to you. The Reading IAS team. There are four of us in Reading IAS. Leslie Chamberlain is the team manager. Helen Mansfield, that's me and I'm an IAS advisor and the children and young people lead. Antonia Murta is an IAS advisor and the tribunal lead and Sarah Bamford, who is an IAS advisor and our volunteer coordinator. If you visit our website at www.readingias.org, you can see our About Me pages, which has a little bit about each of us and a photo so that you can see who you're talking to. Some people find this helpful. Our contact details will follow, but if you'd like to know any more or you think that we can help you, please do get in touch.